Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, my name's Colin Cromie, and I use dude wipes because I have this thing called poopy butt. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's how this set's gonna go. I'm gonna come in fucking hot. Now, for those of you who don't know what dude wipes are, they are baby wipes for grown ass men. No pun intended. Does anyone here use dude wipes? Yeah, these two fuckers over here, their asses are crazy. They use so many dude wipes. Sir, you kind of scare me. <laughs> but do you use dude wipes? You, you, you are terrifying. But all I'm gonna say is, if you use them, your your wife might appreciate it. I'm, I'm so, don't kill me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But I am obsessed with dude wipes. On occasion, I tend to drink too much and my diet is horrible. So before dude wipes, I was literally going to the store and buying Huggies for my ass. And I looked it up. The fucking founders of dude wipes had the same problem as me. They were going to the store and buying baby wipes and came up with the idea for dude wipes. These guys are just like me, an alcoholic who eats too many burritos. <laughs> but I started using these scented dude wipes. Uh, fuck yeah. <laughs> the scent is mint chill. And let me tell you, my asshole is so chill. <laughs> but I was thinking about it. Were these guys making this a scent or a flavor? I mean, ladies, my asshole is minty. So you can eat my ass and you don't even need to brush your teeth after. Did these guys just make ass eating that much better? They should make do that wipes for you females. I don't really eat ass that much. But if they made mint chill do that wipes, I would eat that ass like chicken wings with a side of ranch. I love dude wipes, I hope they sponsor me. <laughs> Next topic. My mom could not get pregnant with me. Don't laugh, you fuckers. <laughs> so I was made in a lab in a Petri dish. So in simpler terms, I am a jerk off baby. So let's go over the story of how I was born. My dad went to the hospital masturbating rooms and he looked at some porno mags and he beat one off into a tube. Is it weird I kinda wanna know what porn conceived me? <laughs> like, wouldn't you wanna know if your dad conceived you some fucked up shit like gangbangs? <laughs> Do you watch porn? <laughs> no? Come on, you try it, it's good. <laughs> So then my dad takes his semen, me, to the jizz lady behind the counter. And I'm also curious, what do you think her job title is? The semen holder? The cum mover? I mean, what does she put on her taxes? Ejaculation activation? Yeah, so. The doctor that did this procedure for my family, he is kind of an asshole. He really could not have given me one more inch of height. I mean, dude, you have all the power in the world. You can't, you can't give me one more inch up here and down here. <laughs> Fucking asshole. My little brother, he was also a jerk off baby but he has some special needs. So I think the doctor might have dropped his petri dish on the way to my mom. <laughs> Guys, my last name is Chromie, so that makes my little brother a Chromie with an extra Chromie. <laughs> like, come on, it's right there. My dad though, it actually could have been his fault with my brother because he was too embarrassed to jerk off at the hospital again. So he took the take-home whack-off kit for my brother. Uh, 
he should have stayed at the hospital. <laughs> My little brother calls me retarded. <laughs> so I have the pass. And he just made this crazy business transaction. He traded my black friend the R word pass for the N word pass. It was a crazy investment. <laughs> In my family though, the Petri dish route went 0 for 2, me and my brother. So I wouldn't recommend it. Just have sex like normal people. That's all the time I got for you guys. Thank you.